Hello everyone, it's Willie Johnson 158 with episode 2 of Modding 101. And uh, if you've watched episode 1, everybody here has been promoted from amateur modder to uh, apprentice Xbox 360 adapter. Oh yeah. So uh, basically all that means is that you're going to learn how to bind to the primary buttons and the D-pad, other than the back button. Because if you have already tried using God Mode and UFO together, well, they're not compatible with the back button or start button. Well, they are if you use one for each, but it sucks when you have the start button binded to something because then you have to restart your Xbox. That's a whole process that we don't need to get into. So uh, we're going to learn how to bind to other buttons. So if you need help on all the other crap, like creating a profile and moving the profile to a USB, I'm not going to review that. So you can go back to episode one and uh, earn your scholarship and then move up to episode two. But we're going to start right here on the computer uh, where the USB is already plugged in. We already have our profile ready to go and everything like that. So we're going to want to go to the same place where we saved USBX. Uh, and we're going to open up our pen drive and go all the way to the end right there. And that series of letters and numbers happens to be, again, our profile. And we can save that, minimize that, and uh, look, there it is. And uh, we can drag that into HXD editor. It's kind of a review, I know. And we're going to find MOTD to start the program. And then this is where we started before, but this only means message of the day. And this is to find where your COD4 profile is. We're going to go down to dot set custom class one, and this is where we're going to start our mod. So we're going to do the same programs that we did before, except we're just going to bind them to different buttons. So in this case, we're going to do dot, and make sure that your dot is an OA right there. And we're going to go dot bind space d pad underscore up space open quotes space ufo space close quotes and that's all that we're going to do and because that's all we're going to do we're going to go back to this corresponding box right there signify the end of a code by typing in a zero a and then we can resume with our next line of code which is going to be bind space d pad underscore right space open quotes space give space rpg underscore MP space close quotes and that's going to tell the computer or in this case the Xbox that when we want to press d-pad right we want RPGs and uh, since again this is the end we're gonna go back here type in 0a go back here and type in our last and final line of code which is going to be bind space button this time underscore uh, X uh, and more because X is reload who needs reload when it's an auto reload anyway and so we're going to place, in its place, we're going to place an open quotes and then space give space desert. Don't spell it like dessert, but you can look here. It's fine. If you need help, yeah, no big deal. Desert eagle gold. Make sure I spelled that right. Gold underscore MP space close quotes. And then we're going to go back here to the corresponding 7-3 in this case. And we're going to press 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, all the way until the OA. And if you haven't figured out, that is the code to give us the gold desert eagle for some added realism. So uh, once that's all taken care of, we have to do one more important change. I have no idea why it works like this, but it does. So just go along with it. But we're going to go to replace, and we're going to search for buttons underscore default. And uh, yeah, whatever, I don't get this, but it works. And we're going to replace that with buttons with a 0 in place of the O and a 3 in place of the E in default. So I have no idea, again, why it works, but it does. So you might want to do that. So we're going to click Replace All. And uh, in this case, there's only one occurrence, but that'll work. So then we can scroll up just a few lines of code here. And magically, there is our code again. So we've got everything we need to. You can bind buttons other than the X button. Uh, you can bind all four, X, A, B, Y. You can also bind triggers and stuff like that. We'll cover that in the next episode. And uh, for D-pad, the codes are D-pad underscore left, D-pad underscore right, D-pad underscore up, and D-pad underscore down, if you want to bind two other buttons than that. But no matter what you're doing, 
And even if you're binding to the back button also, you need to change the default buttons to default buttons with the zero and the three replaced. So it'll work. So then once you're done with that, you can go to this save icon right here. Uh, X out of that. We don't need that anymore. And remember, leave the BAK there. That's our backup in case we did something really bad and we need to keep the profile. So we can open up our Modio. Hopefully this thing will go fast, because I have opened it a couple times. Oh, it did. The sound of success. All right. So then click on this thing right there. X out all these crappy boxes that we don't need. Drag in our new profile. Click rehash and resign. X out. X out. Go back to the tab with our USB X. Drag in our rehash and resign. Oh, fail. You have to make sure of one detail unless you delete the old one. So I'm going to delete that real quick. And then drag in the new one. Yay! So uh, then you can X out of that. X out of that. And uh, close all programs and take out your USB and we'll resume it when it's in the Xbox. Alright, so we're back on the Xbox ready to test our programs. And uh, to start it off, the first thing that you're going to need to do, again, is go down to System Settings in your dashboard, go to Memory, select Y on Hard Drive, and clear your system cache. And again, that's going to get rid of any updates that would patch your mods that you've just created. So then we can start some Call of Duty 4, and get playing, and do some bounces with UFO, and RPG, and whatever you want. So make sure to go to a split-screen game. Uh, so you can get all the maps, and so you can get the good custom classes, all that stuff. Split screen is multiplayer, blah, blah, blah. And actually, right here I'm going to sign in, and again, because uh, in episode 1 we talked about that we turned our brightness all the way up, we can see if our mod has worked, or if our program has worked, ah, there we go, because our brightness has been turned up. So, uh, whoop, not Xbox Live. Again, go to split screen, and uh, we're going to go, let's see, we're going to go, oh, Crossfire Sabotage. We'll give it a shot. All right. So that should do that. All right, so once you've started the game, uh, you can test it out in the beginning. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh that scared me. Holy moly, I thought I screwed up because I pressed the back button waiting for UFO, but we actually bind that with the D-pad up. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, it works. Oh, this is so cool. You guys are just like stoked right now. Now what was the next one? RP oh yeah, D-pad right? RPGs? You know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, cha-ching. Then we had one more. It's a Desert Eagle. Oh, I know it works. Come on, switch the weapon. Here we go. And shabang. Right there. Oh. That's, oh, the Desert Eagle of Love right there. Oh, that is so cool. No joke, no joke. All right, everyone, thank you for watching Episode 2. Episode 3 will probably be on some other simple codes like God Mode and uh, giving you some other weapons and uh, also binding to other buttons such as the triggers and the shoulder buttons. So uh, we'll have that out in probably around a week. Also, when Save Position comes out, that'll be the following episode, but that's kind of going with the website thing. And yes, I've made it, so you have to be a member to look at it. Ha. I'm so evil. But uh, we'll post the update when that's up there, too, like I said. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next commentary.